This is the seventh and final movie for this series, and in this movie we are going to count the number of lesions for a field photograph. This next example, we will perform the same lesion counts on a field photograph of the same leaf. Let's go ahead and import the image. Okay, the image was taken with an iPhone 7 smartphone. Um, since the leaf was not laid flat, its edges were curling. The outdoor lighting also decreased the color contrast between the healthy leaf tissue and the disease tissue. So overall, fewer leaf spots will be detectable. Go ahead and select the freehand selection tool from the ImageJ graphical user interface, and we're going to outline the leaf. Um, in order to do that, what you want to do is you want to left click and hold to start the outline, and then just go ahead and outline the entire leaf. I'm going to, for ease of outlining purposes, cut off a little bit of the corners of the leaf, which will also probably decrease our counts, but um, you do what you got to do. Now go to Edit, Clear Outside and then go to image, adjust, color threshold um, and we are going to select the threshold 0 to 47 um, we already have all of the saturation, we're going to select all of the brightness except we're going to exclude the whitest of the white go ahead and select and process binary, make binary um, that should be our dots right there. Um, there's a little bit of extra dottiness. We're going to open up the original image so we can kind of compare and contrast. Uh, if you look closely, there's a bit of dottiness that has nothing to do with the actual bacterial spots. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, there's not really... Um, well, there's a, a few big ones too. So we'll go ahead and um, select the um, paintbrush and maybe get rid of some of those. Missed one on the edge. Um, these ones down here, I'm fairly certain they're not anything to do with bacterial leaf spot. And there's still a little bit of dottiness around here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and remove some noise. We're going to go to process, noise, remove outliers. Um, we have pixels of two. Um, dark, let's click on the preview to see what it does. Uh, that looks good. It gets rid of the little dots. So. Uh, Diameter of two seems to, or radius of two works just fine. Okay. Um, now we're going to go to analyze, analyze particles. Go ahead and. Um, okay, so we're going to have the whole range uh, for the size and the circularity. Um, I do want it to show my outlines again, um, and everything else, all the other options are the same. Go ahead and click OK. Uh, and this gives us our processed image. If you notice the count is way lower, it's 55. Um, we're going to go ahead and record that. Um, so we have the um, scan spots and photo spots, record photo spots as 55, which is literally 50 spots less than um, with our last image. Um, then we're going to save these with a unique name um, for record keeping purposes. Okay, photo count. Call that one um, uh, maybe like processed or something. I think we'll know what that means. And close that one. Say that one as well. Honestly, really doesn't matter that much what you save it as. Um, maybe black spots. Just so you know what it is. And that is good. Um, that's everything we needed. Well, that concludes the final movie in our um, seven-part series. Uh, if you could please like our video and subscribe to our channel, that would be fantastic. And um, thank you so much for watching, and um, hopefully see you again soon.